Before Jesus was arrested and crucified, he prayed for his disciples. And in this prayer, he said that the disciples were in the world, but not of the world. Let's take a closer look and find out just what this means. Jesus prayed for them, saying, I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. So the disciples kept God's word, meaning they listened to Jesus and believed his word was true. And they believed that Jesus came from the Father in heaven. They believed that Jesus truly was the Son of God. If you've also done these things, then you too are a disciple of Jesus. He continued praying, saying, I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. Now remember, Jesus also said, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God showed us his mercy and love by sending his only Son, but whoever does not believe is condemned. So Jesus isn't praying for the world, he's praying for those who believe in him and trust in his word. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Now, we know that Jesus isn't of the world. He came from heaven. He was there before the world was created. But how is it that he says the disciples are not of the world? Because they turned away from the lies of the world that would reject Jesus and instead embraced the truth that he is the Son of God. And when we do that, we are welcomed into the family of God. We are no longer children of the world, but we are God's children. And that's what it means to be in the world, but not of the world. And while we're in the world, Jesus wants us to be a light for others. So he prays, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. Because the evil one is also in the world and will continue spewing whatever lies he can to keep people from trusting in the truth of God's word. So Jesus asks the Father to sanctify them in the truth, that is, to set them apart from the world as they continue to serve God in the truth. And when we reject the lies of the evil one and embrace the truth of God's word, then the devil is defeated. For your word is truth. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it on the bush, oh no. Shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it sh
Shine, let it shine. 